You may have heard about electric vehicles and laws aimed at reducing carbon emissions. However, there is another type of vehicle that emits only water vapor and has zero emissions. The hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Although similar to electric cars, hydrogen cars have unique characteristics that make them less prevalent. As of mid-2022, approximately 2.5 million electric vehicles have been sold in the US. While just 15,000 or fewer hydrogen-powered vehicles exist, these vehicles are only available in California, which has a hydrogen fueling infrastructure. Since 2015, three car manufacturers have offered hydrogen cars for purchase. The Honda Clarity Fuel Cell, Hyundai Nexo SUV, and Toyota Mirai. However, Honda has halted production of all Clarity models, and Hyundai has sold fewer than 1,500 Nexo SUVs to date. Toyota is the company that is most committed to hydrogen power as an alternative to battery electric vehicles. It has sold approximately 10,700 Mirai sedans across two generations in the US. However, it has had to offer significant discounts at times to move them. An HFC EV is powered by an electric motor, similar to a battery electric car, but instead of a heavy battery, it uses a fuel cell stack. The fuel cell stack combines pure hydrogen and oxygen from the air to generate electricity, which powers the motor and produces water vapor. This makes the HFC EV a series hybrid, and that is why it's sometimes called an FCH EV. While hydrogen is considered an energy carrier, drivers of HFCVs refill their carbon fiber tanks at hydrogen fueling stations that operate similarly to gas stations, with a quick 5-minute refueling time. While hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, it is never found in its pure form and requires considerable energy to extract. Nowadays, the majority of hydrogen used is derived from fossil fuels such as natural gas, which results in CO2 emissions as a byproduct. However, when the hydrogen is run through a fuel cell, it generates electricity and only releases water vapor from the exhaust pipe, making it a clean and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional fuels. How does it feel behind the wheel? Driving a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is quite similar to driving a battery electric car. Although HFCVs may not be as fast, HFCVs do not have transmissions, and they come equipped with regenerative braking to recover energy while braking. However, HFCVs are better suited for steady power output, which makes it challenging for automotive engineers to design a car that can meet the varying power demands of everyday driving. For instance, accelerating to 60 miles per hour requires much more power than maintaining a steady highway speed of 15 kilowatts or 20 horsepower. To solve this issue, the Toyota Mirai, the most popular hydrogen car in the US, has a fuel cell rated at 90 kilowatts or 120 horsepower and a high voltage low capacity battery that's similar to those used in gasoline electric hybrids. The battery provides additional power for short periods of intense acceleration, recharging from the excess fuel cell output or regenerative braking. Like electric vehicles, hydrogen cars have an EPA rated range of 300 miles or more but the range decreases at higher speeds. Hydrogen fueling stations. Fueling a hydrogen car requires some practice, as aligning the nozzle and ensuring proper sealing for electronic communication between the car and pump can be challenging. Moreover, current stations can typically only fuel a few vehicles before going offline for up to 30 minutes to repressurize. In June 2019, drivers in the San Francisco Bay Area faced significant challenges when an explosion disrupted the supply of hydrogen to 9 of the area's 11 stations. To address the issue, diesel trucks had to transport tanks of compressed hydrogen from Southern California overnight. Some drivers had to set alarms to reach a station in time to fuel up before supplies ran out. And Toyota refunded several months of lease payments to Mirai drivers who couldn't use their cars reliably. The most significant disadvantage of hydrogen cars compared to EVs is their similarity to gasoline cars, which means they cannot be recharged at home overnight. While more than 100,000 fuel stations exist nationwide for gasoline cars, hydrogen drivers depend on a reliable gas supply and operational high-pressure fueling stations. How much does hydrogen fuel cost? The cost of hydrogen fuel is generally high due to its specialized nature and the limited number of retail stations. In California, a kilogram of hydrogen currently costs between $10 and $17 at hydrogen stations, which translates to $5 to $8.5 per gallon of gasoline for the same distance. A Toyota Mirai hydrogen car, for example, can hold up to 5 gallons of hydrogen. To counter this drawback, some car manufacturers such as Honda, Hyundai, and Toyota have offered free hydrogen fuel for a limited time to their leasees and buyers but the terms of the offer vary between manufacturers. 
For instance, a Toyota Mirai comes with up to $15,000 of complimentary hydrogen, while a Hyundai Nexo includes the same amount over a three-year lease or up to six years of ownership. However, once the free fuel period expires, the driver is responsible for the cost of hydrogen fuel. In comparison, charging an EV overnight typically costs just $1 to $2 per gallon equivalent, making hydrogen fuel less cost-effective. How would they be serviced? Well, just like electric cars, hydrogen vehicles need specialized attention from dealership service centers. While they also have high-voltage battery packs like other electric vehicles, hydrogen cars additionally feature armored carbon fiber tanks that store pure hydrogen at an incredibly high pressure of 10,000 pounds per square inch or 700 bar in metric units. The routine maintenance for hydrogen cars, excluding the fuel cell stack, hydrogen tanks, or their connecting plumbing is similar to that of regular cars. However, if any of these components need servicing, California has specific regulations in place to avoid the risk of explosion from escaping hydrogen. This requires draining the hydrogen tanks in designated outdoor areas away from buildings, followed by purging the entire system of any remaining hydrogen using various gases, which can take anywhere from 30 to 180 minutes. Are they safe? HFCVs are considered to be safe and have been designed with high-pressure tanks that can withstand even high-speed crashes without leaking or rupturing. Despite concerns raised by hydrogen skeptics following the Hindenburg explosion in 1937, the hydrogen tanks and hardware in HFCVs are designed to survive even if the rest of the car were destroyed in a crash. Additionally, there have been no reported injuries or deaths related to hydrogen components in the relatively small number of HFCVs sold. Like BEVs, HFCVs offer benefits such as quiet, smooth operation and zero harmful exhaust emissions. Refueling time is also much faster than BEVs, with a full tank taking just about 5 minutes and offering a driving range of 300 to 400 miles. However, HFCVs face limitations, with the most significant being the limited availability of hydrogen fuel. While California planned to have 100 hydrogen stations, only about 60 are currently available, and not all of them are always operational. As a result, hydrogen drivers often rely on real-time apps like the Station Status Report maintained by the California Fuel Cell Partnership to plan their fueling stops. So what does the future hold for hydrogen cars? Although hydrogen cars may initially appear to be an attractive option for eco-conscious Californians seeking electric-powered vehicles, the reality is that they come with several risks and limitations. Automakers had envisioned establishing a reliable network of fueling stations throughout the state, but this has proven to be a more difficult and costly undertaking than anticipated, leaving the availability of hydrogen fuel a significant issue. Without a consistent and accessible supply of high-pressure hydrogen fuel, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle becomes an expensive and cumbersome object. By comparison, electric vehicles have a more established infrastructure and are increasingly affordable, making them a more practical option for many consumers. While hydrogen fuel cells have potential as a promising technology for the future, current limitations and challenges make it difficult for the average driver to justify the expense and uncertainty. Thus, electric cars are likely to remain the more popular and practical choice for the foreseeable future. Alright guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed watching this, please do well to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more.